Hey everybody, every year I do a video where I show you my current Lush collection. Now this year is no exception, here is my video up and ready, it's still quite early on in the year. Um, I think this year I am going to try and to be even better than what I was last year. I think this year I have really really cut down um, and I think I'm just going to keep trying my hardest to have less and less and less but yeah this is my current collection I hope you enjoy okay so to start us off we have some yummy mummy body lotion some flying fox body lotion some yog nog oh, that's gorgeous I've also got a big pot of the magic crystals which I'm actually using at the moment and it's just really intense like if you like menthol you will love this I also have a kilo of the twilight shower gel obviously this has now kind of been discontinued um, and you've got the sleepy shower gel instead but this is just kind of like sacrilege I love this it's amazing I then have two little sleepies, some yummy mummy, fairy dust, vanilla puff, prince charming, three rose jams, one, two, three, <laughs> uh, some bubbly, some berry berry Christmas from last year's Christmas collection, it was so nice, I absolutely loved that, the yazoo and cocoa, two snow fairies, some silky underwear, I got that in one of the Christmas boxes this year cinders and the comforter talking of face masks i've got bunny moon and i've also got a rudolph from christmas i'm really enjoying this one this is the one that i kind of go to every now and again um but the rudolph one oh my gosh it's just like a christmas pudding it's so gorgeous really really nice i would really love to see them bring this back next year i find it is just lovely so I have two Once Upon a Times, a Charity Pot, some Pink Peppermint Foot Lotion, this is really really nice, some Bucks Fizz, some Chris Jingle, obviously great for summer, really really nice, some Snow Fairy, some more Bucks Fizz, some a Mini Magic Crystals, some Rose Argan Body Conditioner, they've actually made this into a solid now, and some butter bear this was the one the, the jelly one that they brought out at christmas i was so impressed with this it is really really moisturizing so next we're talking bubble bars so i've got a couple of stick ones i've got a couple of the um christmas spicy ones that they had last year they didn't bring them out this year i don't think but they are really really nice with the star anise they're like my favorite bubble bar i've got one snow fairy and I've also got a flamingo on a broken stick. Uh, I'm using some comforter at the moment, so I've got half of him left. Um, I've got a pink pumpkin and a normal pumpkin. I've got two snowmen. This one, bless him, I got him in a swap box and he'd lost his nose, so we give him some extra love. Um, I've got a little penguin. He was from like two or three years ago and I've just kept him because I just think he's so cute. I've actually done a couple of Instagrams with him and yeah, I, I just I just love him for like Instagramming and stuff. Then we've got um, a, I think we ended up calling this Ladybug. In the UK, I think it was called Ladybird or it was meant to be called Ladybird, but I think it just ended up being Ladybug. That was from Mother's Day last year or the year before. I've got a Peeping Santa. I love these. It's such a shame they've discontinued them, but they have brought it out this year at Christmas time as a soap. Then there was a Bewitched. So that was the cat. And as I've got a black cat, I've kept him. Uh, I've got two of the reusable um, candy cane bubble bars they came out with this year um, I'm not a big fan of these but I will use them I've got two of the new candy mountains um, I actually really have liked these this year they've been much more colourful in the bath and really nice and creamy um, I do have an original one which I haven't used just because they've changed it and I don't know um, I've got some Yognog, so I actually picked up six chunks of Yognog. My store never had like a whole 
Yognog bar to buy so I ended up just buying six giant pieces and I'm saving that because I absolutely love it so eventually I will cut that up and put it in my bath bomb pot uh, my bath bomb pot so eventually I will cut that up and put it in my bathroom to use but I am saving that everything else will definitely get used before that the next section is everything melty so let's go on to bath melt so i've got two of the cloak of invisibility now really interestingly this is one i bought this year and that's one i bought last year and it's like double the size so they've definitely made them smaller uh i've got one of the little heart ones that came out this year uh burrows of the forest i think that one is or something like that um Melting Marshmallow, Road to Damascus, Abu, can't remember the name of you, you were an Oxford Street exclusive, as were you, A Melting Snowman, uh, this one was, let's have a little look, I think it was Zoltar or something, I have got some body conditioners, so I've got a Once Upon a Time, a I think that's Snow Fairy, a Chris Jingle, and I've also got the Rose Argan that came out this year, which is very sparkly, really, really nice. So I've got a massage bar. This was a Lush Kitchen, and I've also got a Fairy Goth. I've got two Scrubby Bees. Love my Scrubby Bees. He's had something fall on him. Uh, I've got a Sugar Scrub and a Peppermint. Uh, sugar scrub that was a Christmas one not last year the year before and I love this is a special a special one can't remember what it was called but it's really really nice it was one of the first scrubs I ever got I've also got a sugar plum fairy and they're really soft so if you did pick up one of these you'll know that you have to put it in a pot to use it I have got some of the macaroons so I've got a yazoo and cocoa a, a, a rose jam two of the holly puds and i've also got some of the christmas star bath melts so let's talk bath bombs so i've got four butter bears because i just find they are great for cocktailing and they're really cheap to pick up on boxing day i've got one two three four five six shoot for the stars i've actually got seven i've got one in the bathroom ready for tonight and um, these are my favorite bath bombs that lush do they are just beautiful i love the honey i wash the kids scent it's gorgeous um and yeah it's like my favorite i yeah die for these um i've got a Lord of Misrule, I've got two of these holly, um, these holy night bath bombs, which I've not used yet. So there's one in there and one in there. That one's really crumbly. So um, yeah, I've just got to use them at some point. Oh, I got one of the love boats from the Valentine's range. This is really, really nice. It's, they've made it a little bit more vibrant this year and I'm really excited to use that one. I forgot to include these in my last section these are the christmas uh, uh plum puds that came out and oh they are so nice they are absolutely gorgeous i've got one golden wonder i've got two of the these ones that came out of christmas i can't actually remember the name of them now but i remember it, i'll put it below but they were such a lovely show in the bath i thought i'd pick up another two and i also got one of the uh christmas puds the the one that this one normally smells of um twilight but this year they did it as a comforter so i was really keen to pick one up just to see how different it was i've got three of these um these are the i can't remember what they were called i'll put the name below because it was a long one and weird um but i really liked the scent these were in um they kind of grew on me over the christmas season I did get a few more of these but I have been using them really quite a lot and yeah I've just really enjoyed them and I've also got two jelly bath bombs so these are the snow fairy ones um I don't really know why I get them because I don't actually like the jelly bombs but I always think well they're on offer at Christmas I'll pick up two but that is all the bath bombs I have I don't actually have very many at the moment 
I don't tend to get a lot of bath bombs because I always think, you know, after three months there's there's really not very much life left in them, so I tend to keep them quite on trend. So yeah, we'll see how we get on. So I have a little selection of soaps, including a golden pair, which is just lovely. This was the Peeping Santa soap, which they brought out this year. I've got some lavender, some uh, some yognog, and this was the Fireside soap from the new Christmas range. I do have another two golden pairs, but they're not actually for me, they're for my mum. I'm just waiting for her to collect them. Uh, I got one of these eye things the other day, just to try them, see what they're like. I also got some Cranberry Fizz uh, lip scrub at Christmas because I always get really dry lips at Christmas. Uh, I've got two gift sets which I've not opened yet. So I've got the Deck the Halls gift set which has got some nice little Christmas bits in it. And I've also got the Hug Holidays which has also got some of my favourite bits in it as well. So really happy with those. My sister got me those for Christmas. Her dog thought Lush tastes nice, so tried to eat it. Uh, I then have my little mini um, soap sample collection. I have started using a lot of my soap samples, but these ones I've just not got round to yet. So I've got some sea salted caramel, some of the Rose Argan Gourmet Soap, some sea vegetable, a couple of pieces of karma, some maypole, figs and leaves, sexy peel. I've also then got some other samples, so Yazoo and Coco, Rump, Snow Fairy, Sympathy for the Skin, Sleepy and Elbow Grease, and I have a couple of random bits of fun.